Been caught on camera shooting at a couple in their driveway is behind bars tonight after police a police chase that ended with a crash. Police had been looking for that woman since Sunday. News 13's Lizay Mitri has more on how they tracked her down. Dean Jessica, this image was crucial in arresting her. A probation officer recognized her as Miranda Gilbert, a woman he'd arrested many times before. Wait, ma'am, I'm going, I'm going. In their driveway at their home in the Heights over the weekend, this is what Bill and Carolyn Thompson encountered that still has them shaken up. Okay, honey. <laughs> I can't okay. do this. The couple left for church Sunday morning, but circled back after noticing a suspicious car in the neighborhood, a car they found in their driveway. Police believe Miranda Gilbert planned to break in, but when the Thompsons confronted her, she pulled a gun on them. It was evident in her face that she didn't care about anybody or life. She just didn't care. You can see it in her eyes. Thompson backed up so Gilbert could get away, but as she did, she fired a round. She paused just a split second enough to pull the trigger at my wife. I thought she shot her. Oh, man. She just barely missed hitting her. Yeah, I went in shock. Man, not ready for something like that. Gilbert got away that day, but a fugitive recovery probation officer recognized her from prior arrests and told police. Investigators found Gilbert last night with her boyfriend, Shannon Ray, driving near Anton Chico, north of Santa Rosa. Police say the couple tried to get away but lost control of the car and crashed. Court documents show Gilbert's criminal history dates back 10 years, including convictions for burglary, drug dealing, and gun charges. The Thompsons are just hoping this time she'll be behind bars for good. If they don't put her away this time, what's going to happen to the next person? Just before the newscast tonight, I heard from Gilbert's husband, Robert. He says he's not excusing what she did, but he says she's been dealing with addiction for most of her life. You know, she's, she's gotten help and stuff like that. She's gotten put into rehabs and stuff, and she relapsed. And she was kicked out um, for relapsing and stuff like that. And, and it really seems like people are, are willing to help, but at, at such a minimal level that it's like these people are kind of like just pushed out into the streets again and left on their own. And The couple has four kids together. Back to you.